four months ago, just a third game for Virginia. And they did shut down Jewel Spear. We are underway, the 2023 ACC Tournament. Elise Williams, who almost had a double-double against Virginia, 10 points and nine rebounds. Taylor, it's a talented kid there in Cameron Taylor who knocks down the three. Alexia Smith face guarding Jewel Spear. What are the adjustments that Wake is going to make to get her some open looks? Nice drive to the basket by Harrison. Different from last year, shot clock skinny. Harrison, step back, wow! Harrison doing a really good job of attacking the high foot of the defender, little step back jumper. No, this is a team in, in Wake that struggles to score the basketball when you look at their number. Drive, left-handed finish for Spear. But I asked them, how can it be different for her this go-round? She said, we have to get her looks to the rim. She got one in the previous possession. Now she scores back-to-back. -back. A little over 10 points a ball game. The last four, she's up that to 12. But she has the ability to stretch the floor. And Wake comes with the pressure, gets the turnover. Jewel Spear with another easy look. And a tough shot that fell for Williams. Right here, rejects the screen. Nice job of avoiding contact, splitting defenders, and finishing at the rim. And it just absolutely split the... Virginia is second in the league in offensive rebounds, so finishing the play is so critical. Oh my goodness, that pass looked very chancy from Becker. UVA one of nine from the floor. And 12 points in the paint, so Wake is doing a really good job of getting easy touches on the interior. Finally, a basket. Now Becker, I am contractually obligated by LaChina Robinson to know <laughs> that lefties. she's a team lefty <laughs> who plays for Wake. Remember that was an air ball. The shot clock did not reset. Five seconds now. And a Becker block. And a dual spear is a long way from the basket. There's a turnover the other way. It's a two on two. Step through. But the follow is good for Taylor. She said, I am very competitive. I know my team is as well. But they'll have to turn some things around if they want to make sure we get the fit check for each game of this tournament. Galladay right inside the three-point line. Harrison open on that wing. Nice dish inside. Wake has his first points of the quarter. No offensive board again. Elise Williams, just a sophomore. And buried from the outside, Spear. They are looking for some help. And then decides to take it to the basket. A little bit too strong. Clarkson ripped it away. Smith buried it. See Virginia winning the battle of the offensive rebounds, as you mentioned. Wake has only scored five points in this quarter. And Virginia! Start to find the bottom of the bucket. It's Cameron Taylor. Becker had a really good first quarter on both ends of the floor. Good pass. And Virginia's been able to execute it. Oh boy, Harrison's holding on to her left foot as she tumbled to the floor. So it's a wide open look for Pauly. Virginia outscoring Wake by six in this quarter. Smith elevates, wow, what a comeback for the Cavs. Every team gets to play in this tournament. Smith right off the bat, knocks down the shot. Now only down by a single point. And Kaya Harrison, who turned her ankle right before the end of the half, is not back on the floor as Spear hits again. Directing traffic. Left wide open, Sonio breaks through, did not score in the first half, missed all three of her threes. Underneath, good look and a good result. And another turnover. Dri driving all the way, Elise Williams and 
Nice roll, the basket, and a really nice find as well by William. And now in the third, Wake finding ways to score on the, in the paint. Valade picked up her second foul for Virginia. Good work by Hines. Williams just decided, <laughs> kind of dribbling, lollygagging around, and then pulled it and knocked down the three. UVA just one of five. Virginia got to within one. And since then, Wake, they're pouring on. Samuel, though, has just picked up her third personal for Wake. Inside, extra pass, paying off. Finally, the most current run, a 12-0 run, ends. That was telegraphed. Dale found it. And took it all the way. Bouncing off of players, literally. She never stops. All the way, nice play by Smith. And Dale literally just grabbed her jersey. Here, puts it up and in! Yes, you're not just running around with no, no purpose. And Coach Jevia talked to Angel about that. Moving with purpose as she gets another easy two in transition and a foul. Spear was a prize recruit when she came out of high school in Texas. Big get for Wake Forest, wanted to help build a program. Shot clock winding down. There's no Jewel Spear on the floor, but you don't need her when some of you, well, she's heating up. That's her third three of the half. Jewel Spear leading all scores with 16 points for Wake. And Pauly drains her second three of the game. Good sequence for Virginia on the defensive end, trying to capitalize. Smith stopped by Sumiel, but nobody stopped Cameron Taylor. It's a nine-point ball game. The spear is back in. They break the press, and they get two. For the Deeks to get the two. Clarkson did a good job of leaking out, but they didn't find her. Oh, nice. Taylor Valade. We have to clean up on the rebounds. That's how Wake is getting quick pushes and fast break points, and that's how they've gone on their runs. And you can see, that's the last couple of points they got off of the opportunity, a second chance opportunity. This game gets Florida State. Shot clock again, winding down. Inside, huge, huge bucket for Scruggs. Winning it 68 to 57. Jules Spear with a game high 19 matched by Cameron Taylor for UVA.